Hello, I'm Andrea Filippo from the Cyprus University of Technology and I will present to you an MRI positioning device using focused ultrasound for the treatment of prostate cancer. A magnetic resonance imaging robotic device with two computer controlled axes and three manually driven axes was developed. The device carries a single element focused ultrasound and a rectal transducer. The three manually driven axes were included for placement of the transducer to the rectum. Most importantly, the device can fit on the table of any commercial MRI scanner up to 7 Tesla and has been developed for future ablation of prostate cancer in humans. The robotic device has been developed to offer motion in two computer controlled axes for maneuvering the transducer. These include one linear X axis for motion along the rectum and one angular theta axis for rotation within the rectum. Three manual axes were also added for enabling the appropriate placement of the transrectal probe. These include one linear Z axis for adjusting the robot up and down, one linear Y axis for adjusting the robot left and right, and one angular phi axis for setting the entry angle to the rectum. Motion of the computer-controlled axis is achieved using MRI-compatible piezoelectric motors and controlled through a software. In order to be MRI-compatible, the device was 3D printed with ABS material. As a result, the device can be placed on the table of high-field MRI scanners. It offers an endorectal approach to treatment, with the patient placed in the supine position with his legs elevated. As mentioned before, the device is equipped with a single-element transducer. Non-magnetic materials were used for its development to allow operation inside the MRI. Therefore, it was manufactured with a piezoceramic material in an ABS holder. Its diameter ranges from 17 to 25 mm and its frequency can range from 3.2 to 4.4 MHz. According to ASTM standards, the robotic device is classified as MRI conditional due to the use of electricity. In order to ensure MRI compatibility, both the transducer and robotic device were assessed in an MRI environment. A 1.5 Tesla MRI system with a GP Flex coil was used. Their compatibility was assessed using an FSPGR, a T2 weighted FRFSE, and an EPI sequence. For assessing the transducer, an agar fandom was used, whereas an MR quality fandom was used for the robotic device. The signal to noise ratio was measured in the fandoms for different sequences and activation configurations. Regarding the transducer, the SNR was measured under various activation conditions. As seen in the figure, there was an SNR drop upon transducer activation in all different sequences, with the FSPGR resulting in the biggest drop. As far as the robotic device, there was an SNR drop in all sequences upon robot connection, with the T2-weighted FRFSE resulting in the greatest drop. The linear X and angular theta motion accuracy was ensured with the use of optical encoders. The motion accuracy was experimentally assessed using an ABS printed setup and a digital caliper. The setup was designed to offer caliper stability on the transducer holder. The accuracy was measured as a percentage error between the distance set by the software and the distance measured by the caliper. The error in the x-axis was evaluated at different distance steps in forward and reverse motion, while the error in the theta axis was calculated in both clockwise and counterclockwise directions. The speed of motion in each direction and axis was also measured. The speed in the linear reverse direction was found slightly larger than the forward direction and larger errors were noted in larger distance steps. For the angular axis, smaller errors were noted in larger angle increments in the clockwise direction, whereas the speed of motion was approximately the same between clockwise and counterclockwise direction. The ability of the transducer to cause high temperature increases was also evaluated in both the laboratory and MRI setting. For this purpose, an agar-based fandom was used. The fandom was placed in a specially designed ABS holder and then immersed in a water tank. In the laboratory setting, a thermocouple was inserted within the fandom at the focal point to measure temperature increase. Acoustical powers of 10 and 15 watts were used for a sonication time of 10 seconds, with the acoustical power of 15 watts causing a temperature change of 45.6 degrees Celsius. As mentioned, the setup was also placed in the 1.5 Tesla MR system. MR thermometry maps were taken using the proton resonance frequency method. An FSPGR sequence was used to produce the thermal maps. The use of an acoustical power of 14 watts was used for a sonication time of 36 seconds, which resulted in a recorded temperature change of 38 degrees Celsius. 
concluding the positioning device is accurate and MR compatible and the transducer is capable of producing high temperature increase at the focal point. The device can be used in any MRI up to 7 Tesla, while its simple design makes it portable and cost effective. Most importantly, it uses an indirect approach to treatment and after extensive use on animal models, it can be used in the future for prostate cancer treatment in clinical trials. Finally, we would like to acknowledge that this project has been funded by the Research Promotion Foundation of Cyprus under the name Prostasonic.